Hi, I'm out of the trailer. If you have a 2024 Ram 1500 and you want to carry a variety of different types of bikes, then the Kuat Piston Pro is going to be a great option for you. So let's check it out. So first off, let's kind of see how our bike is sitting back here and how close it is. So let's say you're on some really bumpy roads and this thing's moving quite a bit. This is the closest one we get to our vehicle. So we have plenty of clearance, so you shouldn't make contact with anything. We're also going to have a decent weight capacity of 50 pounds, so if you have some more heavier standard bikes, you'll probably be able to get those on here. You might be able to get a couple of really light e-bikes, but it's mainly just going to depend on what type of bike you do have. Now this does have a pretty decent tilt. If I just pull this lever here, this is going to fall back some. Something to keep in mind is this is a pretty heavy rack, and if you have this fully loaded up, it might be kind of difficult. So if you have some friends, you might want to grab them. And we won't actually be able to open up our tailgate all the way. So I'm just gonna barely make contact right about here. So that's just gonna be making contact with the center of our rack. So if you want to hold it up and throw a couple lighter things in here, like some groceries, or you need to grab your helmet and shoes, you have that ability. But throwing anything heavy in here probably isn't going to be the way. So when you're done with that, we can lift it back up. All I have to do is lift up until it clicks into place. Now if we want to take a closer look at this, I'm going to have to take off my bike. This is a really easy way to do it. We have these pistons. You just got to press this button here. And it's going to release. I'll then like to push one of them back all the way down. So it's a little bit easier to take off my bike. Same thing on the front side, only now I'm holding on to my bike. And this is gonna be great if you have any carbon or alternative frame bikes or any bike with a really nice paint job. And now I can take it off and then take it out for a ride. Now, if we look at our trays, you'll notice we do have a couple lines or indentions in those. And what that's for is different size tires. So you can fit anywhere from your skinny, your standard, to your five inch fat tire in there. Now of course, when, you're, when you are done, you probably need to put everything back up. And when I try to grab this arm from here, it's stuck. And we actually need to press this piston again, and then it releases. Then you can put this into the flat position. It can be more ideal when you're driving without any bikes on. Now we can get a few measurements. The first one I'm gonna get is when we have ground clearance. And this is gonna be sitting at about 29 inches. So if you are having issues trying to get your bikes up here, because let's say you're, you are pushing that 50 pound weight li limit, then you might need to grab a friend to help you out because that is pretty high up. Now we can see how far away this is gonna be from our vehicle. And I go from our back bumper to the furthest point out, that's gonna be 38 inches, which honestly isn't too bad for a three bike carrier. It is quite a bit though to add to the back of your vehicle, so if you're in a tight spot, like a parking spot, a garage, definitely watch out for that. But if you don't have any bikes on at the moment, you can actually fold this up and this is gonna save you a ton of room. Now I'm just gonna pull on that lever this time and push up. And now this is gonna sit way closer to our vehicle. And now we're only gonna stick out just about 14 inches. So that's gonna save you a lot of space. And as far as what it's gonna block back here, it is gonna block a decent amount. So your license plate and backup camera are gonna be completely obstructed. Now the top of the backup camera might be usable, but it isn't gonna be ideal to use. And something to think about is your tail lights. It's not directly obstructing them, but if you were to be at an angle, it would partially block them. So if that is a concern for you, there's actually another version of this. It's gonna be the Kuat Piston Pro X bike rack. And what's nice about that is it has built on lights and a license plate relocator, which is pretty much perfect for this. And the only requirement is that you have four pole wiring, which we have today. Now we can kind of see how this is gonna install into our vehicle. And 
The way this is going to install is we're going to have this 2 inch shank that goes into your 2 inch hitch receiver. We're then going to have a pin that goes through and connects to a lock core. That lock core is just going to be there for extra security so no one can take your uh, rack. And at the very back of it, we're going to have this whole hole here. What that hole there is there is there for is to use your anti-rattle device or your, uh, security key with. And that's going to tighten this down and prevent any rattling from occurring inside your receiver. And this one's doing an excellent job at it today. Now, in my opinion, I think this is a great option if you're looking for that more premium solution for carrying a variety of different types of bikes. Now, if you don't like not being able to access your tailgate all the time, then I would suggest checking out some tailgate pads because what's really nice about that is they mount up really easy and you have complete use of your tailgate and it won't block anything else. Now the downside to that is it's really just meant more for your standard style bikes because your bikes are going to be making contact with your tailgate and if you have any really heavy bikes that's not going to be ideal for lifting. What this one really shines is while it is going to take up your hitch receiver space, it's going to be able to accommodate a lot more styles of bikes. And like I said earlier, if you do want to kind of upgrade and go with something a little bit more premium that has lights on it for just a little bit more security, there's an option for that too. So that's just a look at the Kuat Piston Pro bike rack on the back of our 2024 Ram 1500. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching.